Hi, I'm Chris Thomas, Tauranga City Council's project manager for the lining of a 450 metre long section of Outfall Pipeline. And I'm Sophie Templeton, I've been assisting Chris with the project management. The Outfall carries all of the city's treated wastewater out to sea. It is in need of repair to improve its resilience and to enable it to continue to operate for the next 40 plus years. With the growth in the city, the pipeline now needs to carry a much higher capacity and the lining will strengthen the pipeline and enable it to do so. The lining project will be carried out in two stages, the first being a 225 metre long section of 600 millimetre diameter pipeline from Sunrise Avenue to Maranui Street. The second one will be an extension of this from Maranui Street through to the beach where it stops at uh, Beach Manhole. The work will take about three and a half days to complete, working from seven o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the evening. And it's also involved talking to the local residents adjacent to the, the site of the works. That was a really important part of the project for us, was to make sure that we engaged with the neighbouring residents really well and made sure that they were really well informed about what was happening. It was a priority for us to make sure that the residents nearby um, were aware of this and we helped to make things as comfortable as possible for them. So we've been sending a monthly newsletter to all the residents nearby for the last two years. We also gave a presentation to the Pacific Coast Village to answer any questions that they had. To make sure that everything's finished within the three and a half day shutdown, the team on site is going to have to work longer hours than normal. So we've got scheduled works from 7am till 8pm but if anything unforeseen comes up or something happens on site, they may need to work even longer. So as the work commences, we've got noise monitors in place and we've got vibration uh, monitors in place just to make sure that we're operating within the consented limits. We've got these walls here, which is acoustic panels. The big risk for this project is the weather. Since any rain will effectively start filling the storage that we have, and it will reduce the shutdown period. HEP Construction is undertaking the work and with the help of New Zealand Lining who will install the lining material which is known as Cured in Place Pipe or CIPP. HEP's contract includes the replacement of a two kilometre section of 600 millimetre diameter pipeline with a new 1200 diameter pipeline and this together with the sections of pipe to be lined will increase the capacity of the pipeline by 100 litres per second and that's equivalent to between 200 and 300 swimming pools per day. The workers involved a lot of planning with the operations team, with engineers, with the contractor and this has involved trial shutdown periods, hour by hour scheduling of the activities to make sure that we can complete the work within three and a half days, preparatory works to enable us to access the pipeline. Our contractor was up earlier this morning and started draining down the pipeline at five o'clock. Once they'd finished that, which took about one and a half hours, they were able to um, start cleaning the pipe, this pipe sections to be lined and then they put a camera through it just to make sure there were no obstructions that may tear the lining as they pull it through. After viewing the pipeline with the camera, a plastic foil is pulled through the pipe and this creates a really good frictionless sliding surface along which to pull the cured in place pipe. The cured in place pipe is essentially a sock which is, uh, consists of a fibre impregnated with resin and once it's installed or slid into the pipe it's sealed at both ends and then blown up like a balloon until it takes on the profile of the pipe. Um, the contractor is able to put in a UV light system and run that up and down the pipe and that cures the pipe. That curing process takes about six hours and it's really critical. Once we've finished that then we're pretty home and dry because all we have to do is just trim the ends of the cured in place pipe, just do some epoxying put back the uh, fittings that we've removed just to gain access to the pipeline and it's then back in operation.